as we have previously mentioned, uh, we have created multiple master records of fixed assets, but so far none of those are active. Uh, and of course they are invisible to financial accounting because we haven't posted an acquisition yet. Um, well, truth be told, there are multiple techniques that we can use to capitalize an asset to post uh, just an acquisition. Uh, and for example, it's a common practice to start this process using apps that belong to materials management um, with, for example, a purchase order. Uh, but it's important to know that some of the alternatives uh, to this process can happen entirely in the financial accounting application module. Actually, in this lesson we will show the first alternative in which we don't have a purchase order, so we will only use a, a SAP FI applications. So well, let's start the operational processing group of apps. And here we have the post acquisition integrated AP app. So, well, AP for accounts payable. So let's start this one, please. And well, uh, of course, we have at the top all these uh, fields that are relevant for the header. Let's start uh, with the document date in which we will set up the first day of the current uh, fiscal year. The same for the posting date. Um, well, uh, the document type is correct, uh, KR, let's now just continue. We have to specify the ID of our company code, our city company code, and the currency, which for this scenario is Euros. Okay, uh, well, this screen, it's, it's uh, some people could say it looks funny because we cannot do anything else, but it's just because we need to scroll down. <laughs> Uh, at least uh, f for the screen resolution. So we have at the bottom the first line item, uh, well, the details for the first line item, and we already have the posting key for the vendor invoice. So now, uh, well, let's enter the ID of the vendor exactly. And with this, we can just uh, press enter in our keyboard so we can start entering the details of the first uh, line item. Actually, well, we need to set up the amount, which for this scenario it's 55,000. And oh, well, we will select the calculate tax checkbox with a tax code of um, the 10%. So let's select this one. Then uh, we can just continue with the, the data for the next line item, which well, the posting key for assets it's 70. Actually, it's well, uh, the, a debit uh, for assets uh, for fixed assets. And now we need to type the ID of our flatbed uh, truck. So, well, uh, if you remember that one, it's uh, 500. Zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. And now something that it's really important for fixed assets, especially when we are uh, posting and we will have uh, financial uh, documents, um, it's what we call the transaction type, as you can see here. Why? Well, because we have different transaction types for different scenarios of uh, posting scenarios for fixed assets. And right now, well, uh, this is uh, what we call just a a uh, an acquisition so we will use the 100 okay for an external asset acquisition why external well because uh, as as you remember from the previous screens we uh, enter the id of a vendor because that's the point a vendor is uh, selling this uh, uh, fixed asset to us so we are acquiring um, the asset from some uh, entity that is external to us. But for example, what would be an example of an internal? Well, uh, it could be an asset under construction in which we build, a, let's say, uh, a parking lot or maybe actually a new building for like offices or maybe a plant or something. And uh, during that time, we control uh, the, the time of construction. We uh, control all the costs in an asset uh, or using an asset under construction. And when we finish, we settle uh, all those costs uh, and some of most of them, if not all of them, uh, will be the value 
for the uh, capitalization of the asset uh, the um, value for this like internal acquisition but that's the point that will be an example of internal right now we need external so we can uh, after entering that we can just uh, press enter again just to set up the details for the uh, second line item which of course well is the amount for 55,000 and with this we can now just uh, post and well, let's just wait for the app to finish the creation of the of the document, the financial accounting document perfect so as you can see well actually it was like the first document for this company code uh, for the document type KR so we have the document number here and well actually it's not even like really necessary to make a note of this of course we don't have to write it down because uh, well actually in the next lessons we will uh, uh, just uh, go through some alternatives some apps that we can use to explore uh, any assets and even get to these documents so well for the time being that's pretty much it for this so we can just close the app and we finish the lesson but of course uh, we just want to invite you to keep learning with all of our trainings and thank you for the attention